So today I'm going to be filming a makeup tutorial. I am filming a talk through, kind of get ready with me of my everyday makeup that I've been doing lately. And so I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you find it helpful. And yeah, I'm starting a new series on my channel called Makeup Mondays, where every Monday I will bring to you some kind of video that has to do with cosmetics or makeup. And I just thought this would be really fun. I love makeup and this is where my channel started and I really want to keep true to that because I'm still obsessed with makeup. I still love making videos about it. I love telling people about it and I really miss doing those kind of videos. So thumbs up if you're excited for Makeup Mondays. It might not happen every Monday, whether it's a tutorial or a get ready with me like this, some hacks, um, basically anything, a favorites video, a product review, a first impression, any videos that you guys would like to see or any products you'd like me to try out, Put them in the comments below and I will totally, totally do that for you. I'm so excited for this. I am literally about to run to Target to buy some really fun new drugstore stuff that's been coming out. I've been hearing so much about it and I want to try it for myself. So if you guys want to see like any first impressions, let me know. But yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to get started with my makeup. This is different than what I normally do. I usually do like a voiceover on makeup, just like a quick tutorial, but I'm going to be talking to you guys today. So. I just put on some Burt's Bees Soothing Lip Balm. I'm hoping you guys can hear me because um, it's like raining and there's a lot of like traffic outside, but I need to get a microphone for my camera, honestly. But I have no idea what to get. I am not like a techie camera person, which is funny because I make YouTube videos, but like I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to the camera besides focusing it and turning it on. So yeah, I'm just taking the Professional by Benefit and putting that on my face. I really love this primer. I got it for Christmas and I've really just been like enjoying it a lot. It makes your skin so smooth and it makes your makeup look so good. Also, last night I got also this like Tarte Maracuja oil for Christmas and I put that on as my moisturizer before bed and it made my face so soft like so soft you guys but I'm gonna keep testing it and see how I like it and I'll let you know because I've never tried oils before this one but yeah now okay. I'm taking the covergirl ready set gorgeous foundation in 110 I love it's 110 Creamy Natural, by the way. Um, I love this foundation. If you ever decide to discontinue this CoverGirl, I think I would be so upset because I've repurchased this so many times. It's such a good price. It's so cheap. It's like less than 10 bucks, and it makes your face look flawless, like completely flawless. It's amazing. Okay, so I'm taking this brush from Real Techniques. I think it's just their face brush. I have no idea what it's called, honestly. And I'm just gonna buff that in. Next, I'm going in with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20. And this is what I use to like highlight and also conceal under my eyes. And I love that it comes with a pump, it's my fave. So I am just putting that on my face in like a triangle kind of motion there. And this stuff's so creamy and blendable. And I used to have a really big problem with my under eye concealer coming off throughout the day because I'm pretty sure I have like oily under eyes, which is weird because um, my face isn't oily like it used to be really anymore. And this stuff doesn't go away it stays all day and it doesn't crease really bad and you can see how bright it is so see the difference of like this and this looks good next I am taking the NYX mineral set it don't fret it matte finishing powder and I have this in light medium I really like colored powders just because it like gives a little bit extra coverage if you need it um, and also this powder is amazing it's super fine and I really oops and I like really love it. And I'm just taking it in the container, tapping it off, swirling it around, tapping it off. And then I like to pat my powder in. And what I've been doing lately is not setting my whole face, just setting where I put the concealer. 
because whenever you put bronzer and blush and things like that on, that is powder, so that will set your makeup. Um, so you don't need all the extra like layers, so I just put this where my concealer is basically in my T-zone and that's about it under my eyes. Um, I'm just kind of like set it nicely because why put all the extra makeup on your face when you don't need it and your face can look just as good um, if not better because there's less powder and it's less cakey. I don't know why I never thought of this like before like a month ago. Next, I am taking the Model Co bronzer in I don't know it says shimmer bronzing powder it's just like it's not glittery it's just like has a sheen and I really like it on the Sigma F40 large angle contour I'm just swirling that a little bit in there I really like this one because I really love glowy like dewy kind of finishes on my face so Okay, so now that that is done, I'm going ahead with my Tarte, um, what is this called? Blush, I'm a freak. My Tarte Blush in Fanciful, and it's just this really, really pretty color. I've been I've resurfaced my favorite highlighter, and this is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Light Year. This was from their, like, I don't remember it was like magnificent something or I don't know it was from a collection like forever <laughs> forever ago but it's so pretty I love it it looks like a freaking constellation it's so cool I got this brush not too long ago and this is just the NYX it says 05 but it's just like this smaller fluffier brush and I feel like people would use this for contouring but I love using it for my highlight it's so it's small like and I just love it so I am focused on the middle usually because that's more the goldish it's very like rose gold highlight and I love that. So I'm just putting that up here and it works really well with this blush. Also I was inspired to do this get ready with me because I've been so into watching makeup tutorials lately and like makeup videos that has been like my thing. I love makeup and I love just resurfacing. So next we're going to do eyebrows. I'm really proud of my brow game right now. Um, I like trim them today and so they look really nice. Um, and I watch like a million brow videos because I want to get better at my brows and I want them to look a certain way and they haven't ever looked that way but like the shape I have is really nice it's arched and I really like that because I like wax my own eyebrows I don't trust other people to wax my eyebrows um, so yeah I'm taking the Bodycology powder it's the essential trio and I'm just taking the darkest color right here because it's the most cool tone and it's their body oh I said body ecology this is bodyography this is their brow brush I'm just taking the powder and I'm gonna do my eyebrows Now I'm taking the Chella Eyebrow Defining Gel, and this is just clear gel, and I'm setting my eyebrows. Next, I am using the MAC Rubenesque Paint Pot, and it just looks like this. It's kind of like a rosish, goldish color. I love it. So I just like apply it with this, and then blend it out. It just like is such a good base and I just love it. Next I am taking my Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. I love this palette guys. I'm so thankful that they sent it to me because it's like my favorite palette ever. Okay I'm taking the color Satin Sheets which is just like basically it's like the same color as the paint pot. And I'm just putting that on my lid. It's, these colors are so pigmented. And I'm taking the color Mocha and on a fluffy brush and I'm just putting that in my crease. Now I'm 
taking the Sedona Lace 941 brush in the color Divinity, which is just like a matte um, cream shade, and I'm putting that on my brow bone to highlight. Next, I am taking my NYC Liquid Eyeliner in Extreme Black, and this is my favorite eyeliner. I've used this for years because my friend Caitlin, um, if you're watching this, hey, um, she used this like our freshman year of high school and it looked so good and I was like what are you wearing and she showed me and ever since I've been hooked and I always buy it there was like a short period of time I switched to the Jordana like felt tip marker kind of thing So now it's mascara time. I'm just gonna take my lash curler. My boyfriend called this thing a guillotine the other day. He was like, I don't have to take no guillotine to my face when I'm doing, or because I don't have to wear makeup. I was like, okay, weird comparison. I'm taking the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara and I've been loving this mascara. Just applying that. And then lastly, I'm just going to go ahead with my favorite lip product of the moment, which is definitely Wet n Wild's Bear It All. It's 902C Bear It All. And it's just like this really awesome brownish nude, and I love it. Um, and it just is like, it's a matte color, which I love. And I think it looks good. I think it's not drying, in my opinion. Um, it goes on really nice and smooth. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Again, thumbs up this video if you are excited for Makeup Mondays because I'm super excited. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Subscribe if you're new here. Hi, I'm Cicely. You can hit the subscribe button. It's right down below. And I upload videos every week, so get excited about that. Thank you. Welcome to the fam. Thank you for subscribing. And yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I keep saying and yeah, but um... I'll see you in my next video. Bye.